I want to talk for the next little while about the Lord of Liberation. God's program is personality-centered and personality-directed. Uh, there can be no leading without a leader, uh, no friendship without a friend, no help without a helper, no liberation without a liberator, no salvation without a savior, no redemption without a redeemer, no sanctification without a sanctifier, no justification without a justifier, no forgiveness without a forgiver, no fatherhood without a father, no program without a programmer, and no kingdom without a king. God! Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley. God! My mediator, my sorrow sharer, my burden bearer. God! Bridge over troubled waters, angel in every storm. God! 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 The way, the truth, and the life. God! My hope been dark sometimes, but God, the road's been rough on occasion, but God, uh, the going is tough sometimes, but God, 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 I trust in God. When I see him, I'm going to fall at his feet and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you for enrolling me in your flock. Thank you. You gonna thank him? Ain't he been good? Yes. In the flock worth flying with. I'm staying with the flock. Yes. Can't nobody turn me around. Few more mountains to climb. And then, like that flock, I'm gonna fly away and be at rest. I'm going up, 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 on up, yes. I tell you, Christ still preaches. And I heard him one day. I declared I did. I heard him one day. I heard the voice of Jesus say, come unto me and rest. Lay down thy weary one, lay down thy head upon my breast. And I came to Jesus just as I was, weary, worn, and sad. I found in him a resting place. And he has made me glad. Uh, yes, oh yes, I, I should like to have heard him then, but but I've heard him. I, I declare I've heard him, and I still hear him, and I'm going to keep on hearing him. And one of these days, I'll hear him like never before. Uh, when we all get to him, uh, I'm going to hear him. I, I'm going down to the great white throne, and I'm going to sit at his feet and be blessed. Yes! Yes! I wonder if I have any nevertheless folk here today. People who will not listen to critics and cynics and skeptics. Uh, they're around in great abundance, you know. There's always somebody around to say you can't do this or you can't do that. Uh, there's always somebody around trying to ditch your train or to block your progress. But you put this word in your spiritual vocabulary. And whenever the devil shows up, say, nevertheless, I'm stepping out on the word of God. Yes! Well, if I listen to all of the negative spirits that I've encountered in my days, had I given them a listening ear, I wouldn't have made it from here to the corner. But thanks be to God, I learned to listen with the third ear for another voice, a voice that said, you can do it with my help. And it's a mighty fine thing to look back on your life 
at some nevertheless situations where they said you were down to stay down, but you got up and you've been up ever since. Yes! Yes! Hallelujah, yes! Heard somebody sing and be not dismayed. What well, every time God will take care of you beneath his wings of love abide. God will take care of you. All you may need, he will provide. God will take care of you. And nothing you ask will be denied. God will take care of you. Do I have a witness? Anybody here sure enough know what I'm talking about? God will come and see about you when others have walked away and shaken their heads in despair and told you it's no use. God's got some other way. If you trust him, he'll fix it for you. Yes! I'm proud to be a preacher because of its promise. Preeminence, purpose, power, promise. Who could ask for anything more? Let me conclude by telling you that in my preaching all over this land and in other places, I've had many experiences involving dialogue with those who've been touched in some way by what God has to say through this preacher. And it has caused me on every occasion to walk away from meaningful conversation, saying, yes, I'm proud of my calling. I'm mighty proud to be a preacher. Wouldn't take nothing from a journey. And the gospel does take root through preaching. It saves, it rescues, it delivers, it liberates. And it gives you sons you've never seen before. I'm proud of my calling. I'm proud to be a preacher. And before I would lay my armor down, I would stand at the corner and sell peanuts for a living. When God called, when God calls, he bids you come and go, regardless of possible consequences. Born to be a preacher, called to be a preacher, blessed to preach. God be thanked for the pride that is engendered as a result of his divine activity. Listen to Chris.